位。Members, good morning.、Uh, we have reached the appointed hour, and we,、uh, we have a quorum. The meeting is now called to order. Thank you very much once again for attending the meeting. The agenda has been sent to members.、Uh, this is just to update you the progress so far, and、um, we are going to discuss、uh, the way forward. After we've elected the chairman, vice chairman. Members propose a number of issues for discussion, and we have、uh, sent this to the Education Bureau via the Secretary.、Uh, when the paper uh, paper C B four one two six fifteen sixteen bracket oh one prepared by the Secretariat explained to members the extension of time allowed was for three months, that is, until the twenty sixth of January twenty sixteen. It was said that if there were new,、uh, no new subcommittees appointed, then our subcommittee could、uh, restart our work in May. As you all know, the FEH Bureau appointed a, a new subcommittee on the 10th of November 2015. Since it is a new subcommittee. Um, it is、uh, put on the waiting list, and according to our convention, our subcommittee may not be able to restart our work in May. Because of this development, we would like to make use of the remaining three months to draw up a report. Therefore, we propose not to have any open meeting. So as to let the secretary to have enough time to draft the report, and once the report is ready, members will be called to discuss the draft. And it is hoped that before the end uh, of uh, January, we can submit a report to the education panel. Uh, the, does the secretary has anything to、uh, have anything to add,、uh, Chairman? I don't have anything to add.、Uh, any questions or comments from members, Ms. Ho, Chairman? That's really a hard decision. I'm a member of the Legislative Commission. I know that we have shortage of manpower. The subcommittee. Uh, has had、um, a rather thorough discussion on various issues. Now, if the、um, secretary has not enough time to、uh, compile a report which incorporates、um, such a rich content, it will be a pity. I know that the secretariat has a heavy workload. Maybe in the next term. The subcommittee can be formed again, and there can be new members forming the subcommittee. This is a hard decision. Yet we need to spend time to write a good report and make quality recommendations. Otherwise, the efforts would have been wasted. Other comments, Mr. Chang. I just want to say、uh, briefly. Uh, that there has been a development different from、uh, what it was. The FSEH panel for safety and environmental hygiene panel established a subcommittee to study a policy. Since、uh, this subcommittee,、uh, or rather that subcommittee under the FSEH、uh, panel, will have a higher priority than ours, according to. Our、um, experience: It is very unlikely that we can restart our work in May. Therefore, we need to discuss our way forward. As said by Ms. Ho, we had a thorough discussion on various topics, and members gave very valuable views. So we come to the、uh, decision, or rather, we 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 have this suggestion. That we allow time to the secretary to draw up a report, and then、uh, members will be called to study the draft report. And we hope we can complete our report 
uh, before the 26th of January and submit a report to the panel. As for implementing 15 years of free education, that can be followed up through the education panel. And in the Palisade policy address, if there is any new development in respect of 15 years of free education, then the panel can follow the matter up. Yes, uh, Dr. Chung. Yes, it's uh, really a dilemma. Now we have discussions and we had hearings. Uh, many groups and deputations gave their views. With regard to implementing 15 years of free education, and in particular ASEAN and uh, ethnic minorities, uh, whole day, half day, long whole day uh, schooling, uh, many issues which we have not discussed with the administration in detail. There are many outstanding issues. We raised the issues, but we have not seen any specific replies except um, uh, those in reports uh, published by the administration. I know that we need to focus our attention on the report of the subcommittee. During this period of time, if we don't have any public or open meeting, is there a chance to do this? Say with regard to the report, with regard to specific proposals or recommendations, can that uh, can they be incorporated in the report so that when the report is uh, published, um, the uh, recommendations will be very specific, and we hope that, and I hope that the replies by uh, from the administration will be specific as well, Mr. Kokem. Now, um, having heard uh, the discussion, according to the uh, current situation, the proposal, uh, the proposed arrangement is suitable. We've heard uh, the views from the education sector, from the teachers. Now we can consolidate the views. In this pro uh, during in that uh, during this period, we can also. Uh, discuss with the officials. It's not to um, listen to the views of public. We can uh, discuss among ourselves, and if um, we can uh, consolidate uh, the views into a report, uh, and uh, it will become the position of the subcommittee. Uh, Mr. Chiang Kok Chiu. Well, um, um, we know the situation as it is described. Uh, we really cannot be exhaustive. Some replies from the administration may stimulate more views or ideas from us. That's unavoidable. Now the chairman says that there will not be open hearing, open meeting. No more meetings. In other words, today may be the last meeting of the subcommittee, and then we'll wait. Yes, we wait for the draft of the secretary, and then we will call the meeting again, and then study the text, study the draft text. Is it so? Yes, indeed. That's what I said. Well, that's okay. Well, in the policy address, there may be something related to this item. Well, I don't know whether the uh, draft report will be available before or after the policy address. Now, if it is after the policy address, then we may uh, put something into our report. Uh, if um, there are certain issues arising from the policy address. Well, now, if the report is written before the policy address, then maybe after the policy address is delivered, um, all our questions have been uh, addressed. 
Well, let me、um, listen to other members first. Mr. Lang Kuo Hong,、uh, the policy address by the CE may include something that is related to the work of this subcommittee. Now,、uh, the CE drove me away when I met him. Uh, I uh, don't. I didn't know,、uh, or I don't know whether whether members、uh, put the proposal of 15 years of free education to him. If there was, then、uh, he would、uh, have to answer this in his policy address. Did the、uh, CE told you he would do that, or he would not do that? I mean, he would not do、uh, provide 15 years of free education. Now, if there、uh, will be 15 years of free education, there should be very good、uh, coupling of the、um, various stages. And only you know, Madam Chairman, because you are an exco member. Now, can you、uh, leak some、uh, information to us?、Uh, it's just the direction, not the details. I'm not joking. If you know, you don't need to tell us. How do you know? You just、uh, give us a tip,、uh, or give the secretariat a tip. Now, if the secretary is,、uh, or if the if the CE is going to do that, then、uh, it will be a clear direction. Now, after、uh, in the new term, everything will have to start from the drawing board. So we need. To、uh, get the report out as soon as possible, without wasting our wasting our efforts. Now,、uh, if it will be covered in the policy address, then it will be very different. Now, the policy address and the budget are linked together. So, the、uh, policy address, the CE has a certain idea, and then it is reflected in the budget by the provision of resources. I don't know when our report will be available. I think we should have an interim report to express the、uh, wishes of the subcommittee, so that the CE is aware of、um, the wishes of a subcommittee in this council. It's common to have an interim report. Well, I don't、uh, understand these、uh, systems. If you have, if there is an interim report under your leadership, we can draft an interim report. We can put down our wishes and give it to the CE. Chen Jiqun, Yi. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen Jiqun, I think there's a more fundamental issue. This subcommittee, or rather the、uh, panel, can do anything、uh, really useful. Well,、uh, apart from、uh, our efforts, it's important that the government also do some, also does something.、Uh, Mr. Eddy、mm, is not really that competent.、Uh, well, we have、uh, Hong Kong people ruling Hong Kong. We express our views. Whether they heed those、uh, are not up to us. So we should set out what we have、uh, said and what the community、uh, has said.、Uh, we should put something down.、Um, In writing, and then、uh, we should hold them accountable. I don't know、uh, whether what what the、uh, the interim report、uh, Mr. Liang Guo Hong has suggested uh, is uh, really uh, useful. Even if、uh, it's mentioned in the policy address,、uh, this com committee can still be very useful in、uh, seeing to it that、uh, is the proposals are implemented. And I think uh, the uh, this subcommittee is、uh, approaching the end of its、uh, lifespan. So whatever report we call it, we should、uh, express our views strongly. We should、uh, make it clear that、uh, the government、uh, has not heeded、uh, the、uh, wishes of members here. Uh, irrespective of the、uh, political affiliation of members, 
uh, Dr. Kenneth Chan. According to the rules, uh, this uh, committee should complete its work by the 26th of January, so it's just uh, two months uh, ahead. And the Secretariat needs some time to uh, tie up the loose ends and write the report. So when can we expect a draft report for the information of uh, subcommittee members? And then we may wish to uh, arrange some meetings for amendments and revisions. And some members may also want to. Some members may also want to see if other some deputations would like to uh, submit further views. Uh, so that the committee can consider the amendments and revisions before the final report is out. Uh, we would like to see uh, further communication with community organizations. If we just uh, wrap up uh, things in a haze, and uh, the uh, deputations may be disappointed and dissatisfied that uh, the uh, views they have expressed uh, have been uh, omitted. I, I think we should uh, do everything we can so so as not to uh, lose the trust of uh, deputations. So we need to uh, discuss with the uh, deputations, the community organizations, the ethnic minorities, uh, SCN groups, and uh, parents groups. I'm not insisting on having another uh, public hearing. I know it's difficult, but there must be a chance for more depth in these discussions so that uh, we can further revise the report uh, later. And also through you, Madam Chair, you, we would like to ask the education panel to the, take this on board after the 26th of January. And of course, the panel is uh, free to uh, uh, follow up issues and to arrange for another public hearing or a, de a debate in a council meeting on uh, the report of the subcommittee. If we have a timetable, then for the months ahead up to the end of uh, the uh, Term for this subcommittee, we should uh, set, set out in detail what we are going to do. We should uh, make the government aware that uh, after the 26th of January, the, it's not the end of uh, the relevant issues, and they, the government uh, would have to come back to talk to us uh, or to the panel, and then they would uh, be more serious, and they would not just uh, try to uh, rush things through. Ms. Sito. But this is the first time that I, I think Mr. Leung Ko Hong uh, has uh, acted so gently. And uh, in that, uh, he asks uh, Exco's uh, views uh, to be uh, reflected to us. But rather, I would think that uh, it should be the other way around. We should uh, let Exco take on board our views and uh, as. Uh, Chair, Madam Chair, you 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 have a dual membership. It's of your role to play. We should have uh, something. Our views should be incorporated in the policy address. If we want to do things quickly but uh, not too hastily, then whether we have an interim report or a final report, uh, the report should serve two uh, purposes. Our successor will understand what uh, the Education Bureau uh, was asked to follow up, and uh, if uh, for, for issues that for which uh, no conclusion uh, has been reached, then uh, there are things uh, f to be followed up. Uh, we have to tell our successors that uh, there are still follow up issues to to. Uh, to be carried out. Uh, I hope uh, when the uh, draft is out, Madam Chair, you can submit or you can uh, r relay our views from uh, different political parties to the Secretariat. 
Well, we may not be, may not be talking about the consensus of the subcommittee as a whole, but uh, we should be able to uh, incorporate and take on board uh, members' uh, views in the report. Thank you. Let me respond to the suggestions made by Dr. Fernando Zhang and Ms. Sid Ho. If members have uh, specific uh, views about uh, 15 years of free kindergarten education, I would encourage members to the, submit uh, written information in writing to the Secretariat. And uh, this, the clerk uh, would uh, be able to tell you the timetable in, in a moment. Uh, turning to the relationship between uh, our work and the policy address, our term uh, will last until the 26th of January. In accordance with uh, past practice, the policy address uh, will be announced on the 13th of uh, February. Our subcommittee's report is going to be uh, based on past discussions of the subcommittee and also the uh, con the information submitted to the CLA. So this is uh, in parallel with the uh, policy address. Uh, I, be I believe uh, 15 years of free kindergarten education will be an important part of the coming policy address. And the chairman of the education panel, uh, Mr. Uh, Dr. Lem Tai Fai, uh, will arrange a, a suitable time slot for discussion. Uh, I think uh, he would uh, give it uh, its uh, due to priority. Uh, there's no question of uh, which should come first. Uh, Mr. Leung Kong has asked for a uh, midterm or interim report, and uh, there's certainly ways that we can uh, follow up the issue. And I asked the clerk before the meeting to, as regards when the draft would be available. We know that uh, the secretariat staff are very busy. The, the clerk has promised that uh, he will make it available as soon as possible. We would uh, do make our make the best effort to, to prepare the draft uh, at the end of, by the end of uh, December or early January, and then uh, we can have uh, more meetings. Uh, until we have uh, finalized a report, that would be the objective. But please uh, appreciate, uh, please uh, understand that the Secretariat uh, is very uh, busy, and uh, it's not uh, at all easy to meet the deadline of uh, or target date of uh, December. Policy address. Uh, rest assured that I would. Uh, Relate the members' views to the executive, and I believe you can always uh, take up the mat relevant matters with the uh, under secretary. And uh, he he was uh, with us in the meetings, and and he uh, should should be able to understand our views clearly. Whether the, our suggestions will be supported. Well, uh, it's up to the uh, executive to consider our views uh, positively. Uh, once again, thank you for uh, coming to this meeting. If you have further the points that you want to take up uh, with the secretary, please let our cut know. Uh, please say something about the timetable. Well, I will issue an, a circular and inform you of the 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 timeline. So that members can uh, submit your views uh, by certain dates, and, uh, and then we can uh, take take your views on board in preparing the report. All right, uh, I'll ask the secretariat to take appropriate action if what has been suggested is acceptable. If there's no other business, uh, then meeting adjourned. Thank you.